Let's take a look at the light emitting diode. The light emitting diode is found in the semiconductors tab. Semiconductors behave differently than resistors. They don't follow the standard rules of Ohm's law as we'll be seeing as we investigate them. So I'm going to grab a red LED here and pull it out and put it on the table. If we look on the schematic side, we see the symbol for the LED. We have a kind of an arrow shape here, and this arrow points in the direction of conventional current. So LED current must travel from left to right through the LED, otherwise the LED won't light up. And we have two little arrows here indicating that it's a diode that emits light. If we go back to semiconductors and pull out just a basic diode, we won't get the little two little arrows indicating that it emits light. So that's a standard diode symbol and that's a light emitting diode symbol. The most fundamental property of all diodes is that they only conduct current in one direction from the anode to the cathode, from the positive lead to the negative lead. If you look at the pictorial symbol you'll see there's a little flattening on one edge. That's the cathode or the negative edge. I like to remember it by seeing this little straight line and thinking of this little straight line on the symbol. So this is to me like a little minus sign. Let's build a simple circuit with a battery and a push button so that we can turn the light emitting diode on and off. If I double click on this light emitting diode I don't get a properties box. There is no particular voltage setting for the LED and the simulation is not as strict as it is with the bulb. It's a lot harder to blow this LED up than it is in reality. In a real circuit and a 9 volt battery you should probably put a 470 ohm resistor in front of it to limit the current so it doesn't get too hot. So I'm going to wire the positive side of the LED to the resistor, the resistor to the switch, and the switch to the positive side of the battery. So we have positive flowing into the LED. Then we'll take the flat side that looks like a little minus sign and we'll connect that to the minus side of the battery. And now if I press the button the LED lights and if I release it it turns off.